Hello, welcome to the first review on our channel, Critic Tease Guide. So, today we're going to be reviewing Super Mario 3D All-Stars, the latest Mario game. Does anyone remember that classic Mario All-Stars game on the SNES where it took the four classic Mario games, including Super Mario Bros., Super Mario Bros. 2, Super Mario Bros. 3, and Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels. I, I don't recommend that one, by the way. Um, and makes them on the snares in one compilation. Well, to celebrate the 35th anniversary of the original Super Mario Bros., we have been blessed with Super Mario 3D All-Stars, which takes the um, three classic uh, um, 3D Mario games. And those are Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, and Super Mario Galaxy. Now, all of the games I have always been fans of, so obviously I had a lot of fun with the game. However, there are a few flaws that I found throughout the game. One thing is that they didn't really do too much to change the issues or, or original flaws that had in the original game. However, and they didn't really do too much to change what the actual game looked like. In the original Super Mario All-Stars, we, you know, that the, the the graphics looked fresh from uh, from NES to SNES. It it looked it looked much better, it, it, um, because it was on a it was on a better console uh, a better console with better graphics. So it obviously looked better. But however, in this version of the game, I get that they they did make it a bit clearer on the camera, but they rarely did anything to actually make the graphics look better. In in Super Mario sixty four the DS remake, however, the Mario and everything looked modern for the DS, but. However, it just looks like the Nintendo 64, but better. So that's not very good. They should have made Mario look a bit better. However, now they didn't really do anything to modernize the game. But then again, if it's just showing you how to put the games in one compilation, I guess that nothing really needs to be done with that. The game was actually... I had a lot of fun since the game, since all of three games. It was fun. It was, it's like coming back to the games just on the Switch. Um, Super Mario Galaxy works perfectly on the Switch. And the touch screen and the way that you collect stuff is absolutely fun. Super Mario Sunshine also works pretty well on the Switch, however, a few flaws, such as the game being hard. And also, I don't, it doesn't tend to work well since that my controller has a, as a, as a it, it, it's called a drift. My, my controller has a drift, so it doesn't, it, it's, it's not good. My, um, and so my Mario will just keep walking. So yeah, it's not that responsive on Super Mario Sunshine. Super Mario 64 is pretty good too. It's a bit tough. And although that bo the both of these Super Mario 64 and Super Mario Sunshine are both pretty tough games, Super Mario Galaxy is probably is the being the only one that actually has a two-player option is probably my favorite of the bunch. Both of all three of the games are, are very great. Though, however, we have it combines one uh, one first 3D game. One, one, um, average experiment for a 3D game, but still good to play, and one great perfect game. So, um, and for though that works out perfectly, I do wish that there were more games to play. Um, I was expecting, I don't know, like five or six, but I'm happy with the amount that I've got. So that, that was pretty good. And so that I'm rating the game a 7.5 out of 10. I hope that you guys enjoyed this review. And if you want to see more reviews, please leave a like and subscribe. And want to see more Critic Tease Guide? We'll see you later. Bye.